Hey guys, I'm back. On the last video, we've talked about the basic structure of HTML and learned the basic tags. But there are some tags I want to correct which I annotated on the video. First one is the doc type. I forgot to add an exclamation point or whatever you call it and a closing tag on the style sheet also on the image I forgot to add an alternate or alt attribute because this is important in validating our HTML so hit and save and now I want to talk about the basic styles or how are we going to style a certain element using CSS. So go ahead and go to style.css right here. As I mentioned on the last video, we tried to style the body tag to change the color to red. So as you can see right here on the example I've showed you, the background here of the body is a lighter shade of gray. So how are we going to pick this color exactly? We need to open it up on Photoshop, which I posted on the resources on this article. So download it and open it up to Photoshop and it will take you right here so click on the eyedropper tool and select the color you want to pick so in here we'll pick this and then click this right here and this will show the hex color of that section so copy and hit ok and bring back to our styles then let's target the body tag by typing body open and curly braces press tab then let's place our property which is background and set the color to pound or whatever you name it then control V then semicolon to close it hit and save and if we're going to preview this now we have a background exactly to the design right here As you can see right here, all the elements is centered. So how are we going to do this and style it on CSS? So let's go back into our markup. And on the elements here, the header until to the footer, let's wrap it in a div. And let's add an ID of main wrapper and close this like that. And on styles.css, we will target it. So div with an ID of main wrapper. So just type in pound, then control V to paste the name, open and curly braces. So in order to center a element on the page, in this case, like here, we need to specify a width. In this case, it's on 960 width, so 960 pixels. 
and we need to tell the browser that the margin on the right and left is automatic since that we don't know the exact width or the dimension of the web browser so to do that just type in margin colon then zero for top and bottom and automatic for left and right so this is only a shortcut if we're going to style it manually we need to type in margin right auto margin left auto if we're going to preview this on the browser as you can see it is centered and if we're going to add a background for example red now all the elements is centered perfect so let's delete this and also for example if the website has a margin on top auto on left and right and zero on bottom in order to do this with a shorthand just type in margin 100 pixels from the top auto on the right zero on the bottom and auto on the left so it's like a clock from top right bottom left so if we're going to preview this as you can see it push 100 pixels from the top but we're not going to do that let's just put in zero auto since our layout has no margin on the top and on the bottom so next is the header the header has a background of pound 3333 so copy it hit ok and let's inspect the height of this container here so look at on the information panel in this case it has a width of 960 by 100 but we need to resize it by pressing ctrl T until it will reach the navigation like that since our navigation is part on our header section so now if we're going to control T again 150 so go back here specify We need to target what we name it so go back on HTML the header header the height is 150 pixels and the background is the one with copy which is 33333 and now we don't need to specify the width since this header is displayed as block element so this element here the header is dependent on what is the width on the main wrapper or the parent element so the header the parent element of the header is the div with an ID of main wrapper so if we're going to preview that the width is automatically 960 since its parent has a size of 960 
So let's try on other tags here for the section. For the section, the background is white. So for white, this will be FFFF. Copy it, then go back here. And to target the section with an ID of wrapper, we can type in section without space pound then main content. Or we can do this by just pound main content then let's add a property background fffff and another property since the main content is on the left we need to tell the browser that we will place this on the left and to achieve this on style CSS, we need to call in the property float and put a value left. And also, we need to specify the width of this main content. So, control T again, select the layer, then control T. And now, look at on the information panel and place that value on our styles with is 660 pixels We're going to preview it let's close this no and hit on refresh now the main content is on the left as you can see the sidebar and the footer was stacked into the right side so how are you going to make this footer go back here and the sidebar still remain on the right so for the sidebar we target it by typing aside specify the width again so 660 or 960 minus 660 that will be 300 pixels then let's add a background go back to Photoshop select eyedropper tool then select this color if I be 5 copy ok go back here place hit save preview it As you can see the sidebar is go back to the bottom because we didn't tell the browser that we need to float this to the right so hit on float right preview it again now the sidebar is on the right but the footer is following through for now let's specify a base height for example 300 pixels so that you can see or 600 pixels preview it's too big let's try 200 like that so in order to place this footer down here we need to target the footer and tell the browser that I don't want any floats to the right and left so we will call in the clear property and the value here will be both 
so I want to clear left and right area so if I'm going to refresh this as you can see it brings back on its position which is right because as you can see right here our footer is on the bottom and with a background of background 3333 save this now we have it also in order to make this wrapper for the main content and to the sidebar automatically expand when we add more content right here like for example let's copy this text and we will remove the height place it right here long text save as you can see the container of the aside is automatically resized based on height so that is important that we will not specify a height value if the container has lots of content and we don't know which exactly where it stops or it don't have an exact height for it so we only specify height for in this case on the header section because it is fixed and we know that this right here will not change and also in footer so in footer let's inspect this the height of this is 50 so we need to go back on to the styles and apply a height of 50 pixels hit refresh let's delete this garbage here nope. so now we have that nicely laid out website so that is the basics of CSS property to style the structure of the website so on the next video we will be talking about and applying our knowledge based on the tags and the CSS properties I've mentioned to complete this basic layout so I'm excited on the next video and I hope you guys like this tutorial and feel free to ask question on the comment section so I'll catch you guys on the next video